Good evening. It's Sunday night, and I'm just going to try to do a semi-quick video. I had the uh, ability this weekend to go to my very first card show, which was the Gulf Coast Card Show, held within about 30 miles of my house in Daphne, Alabama. It was really, um, it was fun to go to. There was probably 30 to 40 vendors in there. It had a relatively good crowd. Um, it was actually free to get into. They were doing sports cards, um, Pokemon. They did um, Magic. Um, they did some games like the Magic cards. They did that. Um, they had one person signing autographs, which was Wallace Gilberry. Um, so I got his autograph. I've already put it away, so I'm not going to be able to show it right now. Um, but I wanted to show you what card-wise I got. I got these two stacks, and then I got this over here. So, let me start going through those. Here a minute. The first um, one I stopped at was, um, it, they had vintage, and it was like $2 a piece, unless they were marked differently. So, I ended up getting several, and it looks like they were all, the ones I picked up were all from the 1961 top set. So, we had Lou Burdett, for the um, Milwaukee Braves, early win, Chicago White Sox, Carl Wiley for the Milwaukee Braves. There's gonna be a lot of Milwaukee Braves in here, but um, Joe Adcock for the what? Mil or Frank Bowling for the Braves. Had Al Spangler. Shout out to um, Mike O. Um, got a Bobby Shantz for the, um, this one was the Pittsburgh Pirates, but I know that Mike O has mentioned him before. Um, I got a mini, my very first mini Minoso card, um, for the White Sox. And then I got this Jim Cat rookie for the Minnesota Twins, since both of these had just gone into the hall this year. So, that wasn't too bad. Um... The second one I went to, I think most of these were a dollar each, other than a couple that ended up being, I can't remember, I'm trying to remember. Um, no, not this one, hold on, uh, back up. That was the last group I went to. This is it. <clears throat> they were... I believe a dollar a piece unless they were marked. So I want to start off with this um, double, a double trouble, no less. It's the Ultra from 1996. It's got Jeter and Andy Pettit. Then we ended up with Joe Adele, the rookies, Ozzy Smith. Um, a um, die cut and this one I believe is from 2021 and we had Ozzy Smith you have this Acuna Luis Gonzalez when he's playing for the Astros this is rookie cup card and we had Paul Goldschmidt and I ended up getting this pool house. This is Derek Jeter. And I think this was his 99 Upper Deck MVP card. And a Barry Bonds. Another Barry Bonds. And this one was a Barry Bonds I thought was pretty cool. And of course, I ended up with some Hanks, three Hank Aarons, Max Scherzer, another Max Scherzer to add to my Max Scherzer group collection, and then this um, Max Scherzer, and then I had Griffin Canning, this patch, select patch, and then I had this inception of um, Jonathan Losiga. I usually don't get the inceptions I get not because I'm collecting that player but because um, I like the inception cards 
And these were the three that were a higher dollar. There was a Chipper Jones. Actually, there was two Chipper Jones. And then this Max Scherzer. They were a little higher priced. So. And then the very last group I got was these. And I forgot. I think these were all a dollar a piece. I don't think there was anything higher than that. I think they were all a dollar. So we had this Hank Aaron, Bowman's Best. This Scherzer Chronicles. This Mini Upton. Freddie Freeman. Then we had Max. I had three Albert Pulhoses. This was the base one of this. And it was out of um, Don Ross 2019. And then I had two of these that are numbered. I'm guessing these are like pr the prism or whatnot. But they're numbered. One is, they're numbered out of 500. One is 45 out of 500. And one is 301 out of 500. And it was um, commemorating his 633 home runs in his career. Which now he's at 693. Hopefully we'll get to 700 before he retires. Ended up with this Casey Clemens pro debut autograph. I mainly got that because of it being Richard or Roger Clemens' kid. And he also played for Texas. And I tend to get some of the Texas players when they, they're high school players. I got this Inception of Kenley Jansen, which is 65 out of 99. Inception Tyler Austin autograph out of 230. It's 70 out of 230. It's Tyler Wade for the Yankees, um, 91 out of 150. Brett Phillips, 21 out of 99. He's for the Brewers. And then a shout out to um, Mike, baseball collector. I got this Adrian Beltre for the Rangers, and it is not numbered. I thought it was, but it's not. Anyway. And then the one big card I got, and it wasn't all that big price was, but I ended up getting this Tier 1 Ozzy Smith autograph. And it's numbered 40 out of 149, and that was my big purchase for the day, other than these were all like 20 here, 20 there, because they were combo, because they were a dollar each or two dollars each. This one is the one I paid 35 for this one card. I did ask the gentleman if he was going to come down, and he wouldn't. Um, but I wanted an Aussie Smith, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought it. And I think it's pretty cool. I like it. And it's from this year's um, Tier 1 Baseball. So, but... Add that to the Ozzy Smith collection. So anyway, that was my experience on going to my very first card show. It was a blast. I hope to go again the next time. They usually do them about two to three times a year. They've started doing this one. It's one of the only card shows I know that's on the Gulf Coast that's close to me. So um, hopefully I'll get to go next time. Um, and I will talk to you all again later. Y'all have a good evening. Bye.